Mr. Schaker, uh, there's a request to, to uh, for a blue card. Will you accept it? Will you accept a question? Carry on. No, no, but you have to you have to press the button, otherwise nobody can hear you. President, thank you. My microphone was only now turned on, and I'd be happy to hear who is uh, posing a question and to take the question. Prego, Honorevole Etheridge. Mr. Etheridge. Domanda. A question, please. Question. Um, what I wondered, I was very interested to hear what you got to say. Do you agree with me that the best way to stop further problems of this nature is to make sure that both the EU and the states within it no longer take interventionist foreign policies where they affect and damage countries which have no reason for them to be there and the best thing is not to send our troops or people anywhere near these places unless there is a massively unforeseen reason. I'm afraid, uh, dear colleague, that the world is not black and white and that there is no one-size-fits-all for Europe, which should act as a global player, as a strong global player, in my opinion, to meet the various challenges, whether they are violations of human rights or whether they are other crises that we see in the Middle East, particularly now. And I do think that the EU should show more of a leadership position through diplomatic efforts, through working with partners like Turkey to curb the um, spread of violent extremism or the recruitment in our own societies that go through Turkey into countries like Iraq and Syria. So there are many steps we can take before military intervention is needed, but we all know, sadly speaking, that the world uh, sometimes requires not only soft power but also hard power. Grazie.